Exercise in a pill? Researchers at the University of Leeds are exploring activating the body's exercise sensor with a molecule named Yoda-1. During physical activity, the heart pumps more blood around the body, putting more pressure on the walls of the blood vessels. The piezo one protein in the endothelium, which takes blood from the heart to the stomach and intestines, senses the change and becomes activated. This in turn constricts the blood vessels. As a result, more blood is directed to the brain and muscles involved in physical activity. Based on experiments on mice, scientists discovered an experimental molecule named Yoda-1 can also increase blood flow in the endothelium. This is similar to the effect of exercise and thus can activate the piezo one protein without actual physical activity taking place. Researchers believe the same result would occur in human bodies and hope the discovery can help the development of a drug that can enhance the health benefits of exercise. Here are some other ways we can trick our bodies. A protein can trick your heart into thinking you exercise. Researchers in Canada have found a protein that can stimulate the heart to grow in a healthy way and pump more blood, similar to how it reacts during exercise and pregnancy. When a heart attack damages part of the heart muscle, the remaining muscle adapts by growing larger. However, this growth can cause dysfunction when the muscle fibers grow bigger without also growing extra blood vessels. A protein called Cardiotrophin-1 can trick the heart into growing more blood vessels and form longer fibers. This could increase the heart's ability to pump more blood, similar to what it does in response to exercise and pregnancy. The researchers are hoping to test the protein in human patients. If the tests are successful, the treatment will become available in a number of years. Designer babies may soon be possible. A team of researchers at Oregon Health and Science University have successfully performed the first known attempt to create genetically modified human embryos. Gene editing using CRISPR technology is capable of finding a target DNA sequence and replacing it with a desired sequence. Once injected, the guide RNA in the CRISPR-Cas9 system seeks out the target DNA before the Cas9 enzyme binds and cuts it. The void in the DNA strand is then filled with the desired sequence. CRISPR technology theoretically makes it possible to modify the genomes of any living thing on Earth. Researchers in China have previously conducted trials using CRISPR technology in cancer patients, but the results revealed a major problem. The technique can cause unwanted mutations in other parts of a DNA sequence. However, the Portland team is confident that it is possible to avoid such errors. Limitless blood supply is not too far off. It's taken nearly two decades, but scientists may finally have the recipe to create stem cells, that wellspring of life and holy grail of regenerative medicine. A Boston research team programmed human pluripotent stem cells to become endothelial cells, which typically line the inside of blood vessels. These were injected with special proteins called transcription factors, then transplanted into mice. Weeks later, the cells had multiplied and in some cases formed a wide range of human blood cells in the mice's bodies. A second research team used blood cells from mice and injected them with a mix of transcription factors. The cells morphed into stem cells after incubating in petri dishes designed to mimic a human blood vessel environment. When injected into weak mice that had been treated with radiation, the stem cells regenerated both blood and immune cells. The mice recovered and went on to live full lifespans. The groundbreaking research from both teams provides hope for patients who suffer from blood cancers and other diseases. But tests need to be carried out to determine any negative effects before the procedure can go to human trials. New science breakthrough could allow humans to be grown in labs. UK scientists have successfully grown a mouse embryo in a lab, which indicates this method could be eventually applied to growing artificial human embryos. To grow a mouse embryo, researchers extracted the rodent's embryonic stem cells and extra embryonic trophoblast stem cells. These are the cells that form the placenta. The two types of cells are mixed, placed on a 3D scaffold, then grown in a tank of chemicals that mimics the conditions inside the womb. 
The cells grew to form a structure that very closely resembled a natural mouse's embryo after 96 hours. The Francis Crick Institute in London was granted permission to genetically modify human embryos last year. This is the first time such a procedure has been approved by regulators anywhere in the world.